once again inside the video wall here at the 42nd Annual Hoday Country Festival. Old Double M, Mike Mahalik from Hoday Country, 97.3 WHDG. Standing next to someone who is, uh, well, last time Marty Rabin and Shenandoah were here, was here, was 1990. What's going through your mind when you realize that a lot of the people sitting out there weren't even born when you guys, when you guys were first here? Well, you know, to be honest with you, it's kind of... Uh kind of what we've been kind of running into the last little bit, you know, and in 97, I'd left the group for about uh, 14, 15 years, something like that. And uh, we've had a, a really, really nice resurgence since then. And it's it's kind of the the same premise that uh, uh, that's that's not only going on uh, across the country. It, it, it's already today. I mean, we've already already run into it today, you know, already being here and, and uh, look, Hodag's always, it's one of those events in country music that everybody, that if you hadn't played Hodag, it's kind of like you you ain't part of the business. You yet. haven't made it yet, have you? No, it's like it's like the Opry. If you ain't done the Hodag thing. Amen. Of course, everybody wants to know what a Hodag is, and you can't tell them, but they want to know if you've ever done it. Mm -hmm. So uh, a lot of the resurgence that, that we've been running across the country has been, been real, real good to us. And, and uh, man, we look forward to it because it's really, really nice when you when you look out across the crowd when you're singing. And, and there's uh, 17, 18, 20, 21, 22 year old folks and and they're sitting and they're singing this and you get to think of man, as far as we were concerned at radio, our career was over before they were born. That's right. And then the next thing you know, they're sitting up there and they're they're, they're singing every lyric. Yep. Well, you stole my uh, word. In fact, you said it twice, resurgence, because we had the Roots and Boots tour here. And the yeah, same Thursday thing. Night. Yeah, Thursday I mean, you know, you've got Colin Ray, you've got uh, uh, all these guys that are up here that were born in the 90s, music bringing it back here. And again, I was walking out of here at the time. The crowd was doing more singing than they were. Yeah. And, and, and that's... Uh, I think, look, first off, let me see, because we get asked this a lot, too. And I think me and you briefly brushed over this the other day when we were talking. Right. Uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, ask us about the new stuff that's out. And, mm -hmm. and look, you know, I, I really actually have no vote on any of that. And the reason why I don't is because I, I just believe and feel like that there's, a, there, there's room out there for everybody to do whatever they want to. And if folks like it, man, let folks like it. Look, and I'll be honest with you. Uh, uh, my parents didn't really care for the Beatles very much, but my older sister did, and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm glad she did mm -hmm. because it gave me the opportunity of being able to listen to something other than the stuff that my mom and dad was listening right. to. And it wasn't that I hated what my mom and dad was listening to. I just liked the variety. Now, it's been nearly 30 years since you've been here. Have you had a chance to scope things out here? How have things changed over that time for you? Uh, you know, honest and truly, uh, it, it it doesn't look like uh, other than uh, other than than some of the rows that that, that are on the sides uh, that have been put in that, mm -hmm. that that seem like you know uh, a few thousand more. Uh, well, no, I mean what I'm saying is 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 the is the buildings. All the vendors. Yeah, it it seems like to me that that they're in buildings now that don't move. Right. That they're, they're pretty they, much in, in their spot. And other than that, uh, it, it pretty much and of course the stage is is quite a bit different, mm -hmm. but. Uh, it, it looks pretty much the same. Now, we talked about you guys uh, <laughs> having a set list and pretty much, correct me if I'm wrong, but your set list is something like a contract. It's made to be broken, isn't it? Yeah, in fact, we, we, we've already changed it today. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it's, uh, you know, as opposed to what we done the other night, we're, we're going to be doing something different today. And, you know, one of the reasons why is because we like a lot of high energy and we right. like a... You know, uh, th this is a this is a crowd that, that that when you get them, when you get them fired up, you need to keep them that way. And but now you you also need to take people down through the levels of emotion. You know, in, in a set list. You know, you you want you want those songs that that pull from the heart of you, and then you want to turn right back around. Man, you want to you want to feel a roller that coaster beat. is you, always you, good. You know, if you, if you can turn the yeah, if you can turn the mm -hmm. turn the thing up, you'd turn it up yourself. And and you know, and I I just think that's a, a really really good balanced way of doing it. But uh, th there is a way to handle a certain certain crowd, and and a different way to handle a different crowd. Right. And uh, and and although as uh, flat as that may seem, and somebody go, well, yeah, okay, I got that. I mean, you know, you don't real loud where you can't turn the music up. But no, it's just look. These folks have come first and foremost. The people that have come here today, mm -hmm. they're music fans. Right. Whether they're traditionalist. Whether they're the news, uh, they they 
they're, they're music lovers. Mm -hmm. And so therefore what you want to do is, is, and what our quest is, is to strike on the nerve of being able to, to, to do everything in the world we can to bring people to that place of enjoying the reason for being here. Right. And, uh, you know, the reason, I, the reason why I bought a Hodag ticket was for this reason. I wanted, to have a, I wanted to have a good time. And I'm glad they're here. Now, if we've done that at the end of our show, then, brother, we've done what we came to do. I don't doubt that at all. Marty Ribbon, thank you very much for hey, the time. Thank you. Shenandoah coming up.